Hey guys, Matt, Iron Trap Garage, working on the swamp push, this mess. Uh, so it's been a while since we've even tinkered with this thing. I've just been so focused on the tea and some other stuff going on. I haven't gotten around to working on it. Uh, I wanted to have it done for Makunji to ride around at the swap. That just wasn't happen happening with everything I had going on. But back on it, uh, my, buddy, my buddy Jeff uh, had a couple engines laying around that he had picked up over the years. This engine here is the one that we chose that thought would be pretty good. So it's a uh, Briggs and Stratton. Uh, it's a 13 horse. Should have plenty of power. And uh, this engine is basically new. Uh, Jeff got it at an auction where, uh, or from a friend, that it was being used as mock up for fabrication of some uh, like fire or water pumps or whatever. And this was the unit that they used to build everything around. So it has zero miles on it. It's never been fired, never had gas in it. Uh, it's just basically uh, it sat around. So it has good compression for what we can tell. And I think it'll be a perfect candidate. And the price was really cheap. Uh, I think we paid under 100 bucks for this thing, and uh, it should have plenty of power for this. So what we're going to do is get the body off, get this set in here, and just see how it fits, what needs to be modified. Obviously, this had a different type of engine in it, so I don't know what's going to hit with all the added stuff on this one, um, and see if any of the bolt holes even line up. I don't know. We might have to make an engine plate for this. So throw it in, see what happens, and hopefully just get this thing a little closer to being rideable. Okay, so first problem encountered, we got the engine on, and you can see right here where the suspension is on the Cushman, um, it is hitting the air filter. So it's got this big, kind of as Andrew called it, a lawnmower uh, air filter on it, and I believe we can get some kind of cone filter for it. So what we're going to do is take these couple of little bolts or, or uh, twist knobs off, and take this whole filter off and then we can drop it down and see if the bolt holes line up. But that's the first thing that's hitting here uh, and we'll see what we encounter from there. Okay, so we put the body on and we were really close to fitting on the mounts, but we were kind of teeter-tottering. Andrew noticed through the one vent on the body, trying to focus there. Right there is where we were hitting. That rust spot tells us that we were hitting right there. So we went over to the body and looked through the vent and that strap right there, which I believe, or we believe rather, is for the original gas tank, that little kind of um, cut out in the body was where the original gas tank sat and there's one strap left on the body that was what was hitting. So I think if we take that strap off the body should sit down around this big old 13 horse engine. So we're going to cut that out or remove it. Hopefully we can remove it and don't have to cut it and then we can uh, try again.
All right, so we got the body on. The engine barely fits as it should. Uh, we had to cut just a little bit here in the front where the seat sits, and, and there's an old hinge there to get around the gas tank, and everything actually bolts on like it should. Just the gas cap's a little high, and it makes the seat, the wood for the seat sit a little high. So we're going to have to do something. Uh, Andrew suggested routing out the underside of the wood so that it fits down like it should, but that's all minor stuff. What's really cool is this thing fits with this huge engine, and uh, we should be able to just get the torque converter and some of those parts set up, and then maybe make this thing run here soon. But I'm really excited that the engine is in this old crusty Cushman. So that's all I got, guys. I appreciate you watching. As always, we do videos on Tuesdays on the free tea, Fridays on whatever else is going in the shop, and Sundays we started doing videos on Andrew's first hot rod project. So make sure you guys subscribe, share with your friends. Thanks. Catch you later.